Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have my boxy Lux for the month of December. Yeah, it's kind of in odd shaped. Yeah, it's an odd shape. I've seen... I haven't seen anybody receive this shape before. At least for this month I haven't seen anybody receive this shape. It's been the usual square one, but I got the rectangle. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm filming this today is... Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday the 16th and this guy arrived on Sunday. Arrived on Sunday, just before I got out of work. I rushed home so I can try and film this before my husband got home because I was getting out before him but because my location is so far away yeah he arrived as I was opening the door so I didn't get a chance to we were both off yesterday so I'm here now filming this yeah so yeah, it is currently 3.08 a.m. I got up earlier today so I can finish up, have some breakfast, and start with this guy. So if you guys are interested in seeing what goodies we got in here, then go ahead and keep watching. Alright, having my monster. So jumping into this guy so for today I got ready and I finally used the Cella Slavi neutral palette that I got in my Ipsy yeah I tried this one out and I like it I like it I would have thought a neutral palette but they swatched really really nice I did also go in with the Complex Culture, the Set Go Translucent Powder, and then also the Overtime Contour Blush Duo. I did have to build the bronzer up a little bit, but it's doable. And then also one of the Complex Culture I don't know, lip creams. Alright, so jumping into this guy. We have our box. So, trying not to knock my drink over. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so we have bubbles and glitz. Really cute. Very New Year's. Very New Year's. And yeah, I've actually seen some boxy luxe unboxings and it's so strange that they're doing this as the variation number but I don't know if it just seems like everyone's number was the same C201242 dash LX yeah it's kind of strange kind of strange alright so this would be one of the items that I picked, I had mentioned this, would be picking out these guys from Zaxi Cushion Cut CZ Halo Stud Earrings. It says they retail for $36. As you know, I did purchase these during pop-up for $6. Got them for $6. So they retail for $36. Yeah, for 36. Two carrots. Cushion cut. I think... I think this was the other item that I picked. I don't remember. Because I think there wasn't really any... Not really any good options. This is something I have purchased and received. But just not in this color. So this would be the... Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted. I still can't pronounce that. Coup. Coupoku. Lip Butter in Keep It Rio. So this would be a lighter color. Yeah. So this would be. 
lighter one. It smells like popcorn. So I do have one of these in a darker shade, which actually it shows up a little bit. I know this one would not really show up. And because of the scent, I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan. But honestly, I chose this because the other two options I wasn't really interested in. It was the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner or the three shadow sticks, which I wasn't interested in anything. So I just picked that. And then this guy retails for $20. Although I did purchase these for, was it four? I think it was four. Alright, so the first item on top we have from Luxie. So this would be the Luxie Glitter and Gold Brush Set. And this retails for $85. But right now during add-ons, it retails for $12. So you have a little case brush roll. Oh, it smells like paint. Yeah. So you have your little brushes. Yeah. Wow, that smells strong. That smells strong. Yeah, so you have some face brushes and some eye brushes. Which, yeah. All the Luxie brushes I do own are from BoxyCharm and I am a fan. I am a fan of these brushes. Well, this one I wouldn't really use. It's like a flat foundation brush. And then this one, yeah, not really. <laughs> so we have those, but it smells strong. I have to leave that out to air out. Yeah, that's strong. Right, so underneath all of this, let's see, yeah, I still have 15 minutes left. So the next item in here we have from Avant, which we have received in the past from this brand. I think it was the sleeping mask. So this would be the intensive. Redensifying Glycolic Acid Day Moisturizer. And then this one retails for $123. But I think... I think it's $12. I think it's on there for $12. So again, another one where this price means nothing to me. Yeah. So then the next skincare item, which this guy is not on there. This is from Sunday Riley, the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Which I heard this is a good one, so I definitely want to try this one out. And then this one retails for $85. Yeah, I definitely want to try this out. And the next item in here we have from Reza, Be Obsessed Love My Leave-In. So I guess it would be a leave-in conditioner. The Reza Be Obsessed Love My Leave-In retails for $22. So a leave-in conditioner. Hmm. It does have a scent. Let's see. Yeah, it has a scent. It smells nice. I do love leave-in conditioner, so I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. I don't think I don't remember seeing this in add-ons, so happy to have it there. And jumping onto the last two items, which are palettes. 
So first thing we have from Iconic London. So this would be the Blaze Chaser Face Palette. And this guy retails for $55. It does come with a mirror. And then you have six shades. So it does look like be a shimmery bronzer, a matte bronzer. Then maybe two highlights and two blushes. One matte, one shimmer. So usually I would be here. Usually I would be more excited for face palettes because I love face palettes. But I don't know. I'm not really it's not calling to me. It's not calling to me, so... But it is nice that we get a face palette. And the last item, the most exciting one... Ugh. Yes, I have seen spoilers for this, and I'm so happy. So like I had mentioned, when we got the first Hip Top palette, the Zion palette, I had already seen some sneak peeks that this would be coming into a future box. This would be the Hip Dot Cenote Pressed Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah. And then this guy retails for $30. Yeah. Let's get the same on the outside. So some shadow on the outside. Yeah, I like this. This one is definitely more up my alley than the other one. So it retails for 30, but again also on the on add-ons, it's on there for $12. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this one, so let's see, I have 10 minutes to get to swatching, so let's get started. Alright, so I got to swatching all of the shades. It was a lot of shades. And I really, really, really like this. I really like this one. Which that one is Goddess. Yeah. This one is nice. So you see that one goddess would be this one, kind of a teal color. Yeah. I'm excited for this one. I'm really, really excited for this one. So I did tally everything up and pretty much everything except for the Sunday Riley, because I did see also the leave-in conditioner, I saw it there. I saw also the Iconic London face palette on there. The Avant Skincare is actually on there for nine. Yeah. So I did tally everything up for the total according to the info card, and the full retail value would be $456, which is quite a bit. So this is the $50 box and I did also tally up because I put all the prices during the pop-up or now for the add-ons and it would actually be $146. Yeah, so almost $100. I got almost $100 more than I paid, so <laughs> yeah. Though honestly, I'm mostly excited for this one. I'm really, really excited for this one. I do like the even conditioner, the Sunday Riley. Ugh, getting some, yeah, from the monster. But I'm really excited for the Sunday Riley because that one you can't get on there, and it's eighty-five dollars. I know Sunday Riley is expensive, so. Yeah, I'm excited for some of these products. Yeah, 
So that would be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video, which my last pop-up order is finally on its way. <laughs> finally. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.